Wah, hello. Hello, everyone. I have my model this week. <laughs> Not Farina this time. Unless I could. I won't, but I could. Um, but yes, hello everyone. Welcome on in. It's time for our next adventure since we finished saving the zero dimension. Uh, we're gonna find out where the system saved. Cause I force quit the game. Cause it started a thing I didn't want to start yet. It doesn't say what time. We'll see. Oh, thank God. Let's go. That's exactly where I wanted to be left off. Ah, <sighs> perfect. See, there was nothing to be worried about. Hyperdimension Neptunia G, the golden leaders, reconstructors of game industry. Let's see what's gonna happen. Hyperdimension. It's been a few days since Neptune and I returned from the Zero Dimension. And when we got back, we threw a small tea party to apologize to everyone for worrying them, but also to thank them for helping us. However, Game Industry was still in the middle of the CPU shift period, so we worried everyone would be too busy to accept our invitation. But, day by day, the baseless slander and terrible rumors against Neptune and the others have piled up. It seems they all had way more stress piled up than I thought. Ugh, who's that jerk who posted on that image board saying I'm a lonely protector without any friends? It's spreading everywhere. I'm having similar issues. There are claims that I've been excessively purchasing expensive teas from multiple shops, but I've been home all day. Same. There are a ton of Amazon product reviews written in my name for some reason. They're all pretty negative, weird ones, too. Some products have gotten 100 low ratings in just two weeks, and these people are misspelling words in the reviews just to piss me off. For some reason, people are being led to believe it's from my supposed secret account. Well, get this. They're all posting that I push all my work on Nep Jr. and SD, and all I do is goof off. How rude! Is she joking on the three of them? <laughs> All their expressions. Uh, everyone wanted to voice their complaints, so they made time to go to our party. So, it's the same for everyone, huh? What terrible times we're living in. This is an awful mess. Thanks to this, I can't go on without eating my feelings via delicious sweets. I'll end up putting on more mass at this rate. You mean her chest is going to get larger? There's some real meanies out there. How can they write all these lies with a straight face on? I feel so bad for Paul. I can think of two reasons. One is that this is the work of pranksters. The other is that this is an elaborate scheme set for our ruin. If it's the latter, it could be assumed that it is the work of hostile nations. But well, it almost seems inconceivable. All our sisters are great friends. Indeed, that is why I hope the four of us can endure these troubling times. Hey, Neptune, didn't you say you had something important to tell us at this tea party? Yeah, now that I remember, you didn't mention that. I was too busy complaining, so I forgot. Yep, that I do. It completely slipped my mind, too. You see, I was thinking, since times are tough, we should get through this as one big team instead of dealing with it individually. A surprisingly good idea coming from you, Neptune. I was starting to feel like I was at my limits working alone. Oh, I know. They say three heads are better than one, so we should be helping each other. Helping each other, huh? I do think it's a good idea, but we'll probably be split in a way that'll just fan the flames. I could see the criticisms in tomorrow's headlines. The New World Order has begun. Or, meet the CPUs who can't do anything on their own. I think you might be thinking a little too pessimistically. You'd understand if you've been hounded by criticisms for this long. 
Imagine if every one of your good intentions were skewed by the public so fault was found in them. You get pretty pessimistic too. But I think it's worth trying, since so this is Neptune we're talking about. I'm sure she has an amazing idea. So this is Neptune we're talking about. I'm not so sure. I think your expectations are too high, but what do you think, Neptune? Well, I think it'd be awesome if all our nations got together and threw a giant festival. That does sound like a good idea. A festival? Her nations already have those every year. You're thinking too small, Noir. I want to set up a multi-nation festival. A festival to celebrate all of game industry. And we can use up everyone's national budgets to throw the biggest party ever. I think that's going a little too far. No, that's a good idea. What? Hear me out. I'm ignoring the part about blowing the budget, of course. Oh, good. I'm in agreement with Neptune's proposal. We've been working separately until now, but we can turn the tide with a move like this. You're right. We might just get the chance to weed out whoever's been distributing strange information, too. Distributing strange information? I'm not certain, but I think someone has been spreading rumors and lies about us to cast the people into a state of mistrust and unease. This is merely conjecture, but the scope of the work suggests the effort of a group. Otherwise, this amount of information control is impossible. I guess while I was in the other world, you all have been investigating this quite a bit. Well, aside from the fact that Neptune is as dense as usual when it comes to something important, let's try throwing this Game Industry Appreciation Festival. Then, let's all make the festival a huge success. Everyone, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely gonna get claimed on YouTube. Hello. I feel like my voice for Brute always suffers, which is funny, because in the first game I feel like she was one of my better voices. Lots of robots, yeah. G. The months that followed that tea party passed by quickly, and the Game Industry Appreciation Festival was successfully executed. Before the festival, the rumors and accusations about the CPUs had both increased and worsened. But ever since the festival began, those lies quickly disappeared. Perhaps everyone was enjoying the festival too much to care anymore. In fact, it looked like all of the shares lost by the CPUs were being restored. I'm relieved the festival opened without a hitch. Me too. I thought there would be a lot of backlash, but people from all the nations happily worked together, which helped a lot. That definitely surprised me. It'd be sweet if everyone's faith in our sisters was restored after this, even just a little bit. Everyone seems to be enjoying the festival, so I'm sure that will happen. I hope so. Nepgear, Uni, we found you. Found you. Look at this. I got some crepes from that old man at the stall. Wow, this looks delicious. Would you let me have a bite? That's gay. Ta-da! We bought some for both of you. He gave it to us as thanks for a fun festival. See, Uni? It's just like I said. You're right. Maybe I was just being cynical. Hey, isn't it almost time? Time? You know, for the Grand Prix Finals. Our sisters are fighting, so we gotta go cheer them on. 
Ram, wait for me. Hey, don't leave us behind. Wait up. And so, as if we were ignoring her needless fears, the hugely successful festival approached its final day. That was also the day when the centerpiece of the festival, the finals league of the G1 Grand Prix, would begin. That's where fierce battles between warriors from all over game industry were waged. Oh, by the way, it was a little disappointing, but I lost a vert in the final qualifying round. At least I made fifth place, though. I would personally like Neptune to win, but please, everyone, do your best. So, it's come down to us four after all. Shocking. This is perfect. Let's use this as a chance to see which one of us is the strongest goddess. Splendid. This is the perfect opportunity for me to show off my strength before all the nations. Goodness. You all get so overly confident when you're in your HDD forms. Well, what do you say, Neptune? I don't mind. If I'm victorious here, it will mean that Planet Neptune's future will be bright and my place secured. It's decided, then. We won't waste time with boring one-on-one -on -one matches. Let's end this with a four-woman melee! Hey, hold off on that match for a second. I don't know who's sp speaking. Spoking. Hmm. What the? Who is that? Show yourself immediately. Still said. I love on black screen. You say you don't know who we are, huh? Well, let me enlighten you. We are those who reign from the four golden summits. We will call ourselves the Gold Third. I see. Gold Third? I don't really get how that makes sense if there are four of you. But step aside. Get out of the way of our final match. So rude. Can you see we're livening up this boring party? Normally, for this kind of service, I charge you guys more than you could afford. Is the money your objective? Even if you were to extort us, we're not about to hand over control of game industry. Control of game industry. Not interested. Then what the hell is it? Are you little doggies gonna bark all day or are you gonna freaking bite? Heh, <laughs> that's right. I've always wanted to try my hand against the CPU. I wish I knew how any of them sounded. How interesting. Do you all believe you can win against us? It isn't a question. We'll simply be done. She does have a gun. You have a strong resolve. Very well. We will be your opponents. And this can't be. We're going to lose? This is impossible. I didn't think we would win. But of course we would. We're strong after all. Just when we had gotten everyone excited. If it ends like this at the last moment, this will be a freaking mess to clean up. The time has come. I've been waiting for this moment. Don't know who's talking. Huh? This world and its CPUs can no longer fight against these negative emotions. Wait. Wait, was that Quar? That's... You can't anything but that. Now, let us begin the reorganization of this world, this game industry. Don't know who's talking. Wish I knew. The world has been rewritten. Now, General Aphimiljus, what do you desire of this newly reorganized world? What the fuck is going on? Wealth. I will require as much as I can possess. Money, is it? It seems the greedy exist in any era. Are you planning on starting a war? War? Conflict that relies solely on arms is conflict of the days of old. In this century, information wars reign supreme. Not only this, but information exists as both weapons and wealth simultaneously. This is the very reason my secret association, Avimax, exists. I see. You're more of an intellectual than your appearance suggests. But it wouldn't be good of you to forget our promise, now would it? Do not fear. I have not forgotten. 
I have already prepared the acquisition at your request. My subordinate is on the move. Nah, yes, your subordinate. Steamax, was it? When will you introduce me? He obeys me, follows only my commands. I have no intention of making him your acquaintance. I'm cold, and here I've lent you the few friends I have. But it's fine, just obtain the item. I've waited so many years. Don't make me wait any longer. Huh? Guys, where are we? I'm pretty sure we were somewhere else. Wait, where's everyone else? Am I alone? Hey, Noir, Blonde, Vert. No one's around. Noir and Nepgear and the others are gone. What the heck happened? If I recall, we lost to some weirdos called Gold Third, then we suddenly were engulfed in light. And the woman who showed up in the arena at the end, wasn't that the older me? I swear she was yelling something important. She looked kind of desperate too. This sound, could it be? Hello? Neptune, you're safe. Yep, I'm still kicking. What about- <coughs> 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 So much for that, Jesus. Yep, I'm still kicking. What about you, Noir? Hey, by the way, where are you right now? I have no idea, but I think I'm somewhere in Last Station. I can see some familiar scenery in the distance. I believe I'm somewhere in Lean Box as well. Same here, I'm pretty sure I'm looking at the Wii. Bert, Blonde, I'm so glad you two are okay. Likewise, Neptune. What in the world happened? I remember making a few mistakes in battle and losing to Gold Third. So stupid. But when I came to, I was just here. Looks like everyone's in a similar situation. I feel there's something going on that's way bigger than we could have imagined. Are you talking about those towers? Exactly. Those massive towers definitely weren't there before. Towers? There aren't any. Wait, there they are. Towers. What are those giant things? <laughs> there are four of them. Well, my guess is those towers might have had something to do with this. I can't really think of a sane reason why we'd all end up where we are right now. It would be best to return to our nations. Thankfully, we could still communicate, so we should gather your younger sisters. Right. Or clueless. We'll be a big help. Alright, then once we reach our respective basilicums, we'll make contact again. Got it. Now that I know everyone's safe, I guess I'll try walking towards Planep too. I have absolutely no idea where I am though, so I have no idea where to go. Oh well. I get the feeling that some people are over that way. I'll go check it out. <laughs> and so, the four CPUs sought out their own nations, anxiously pondering the four strange towers now looming over game industry. This was the beginning of their story. Select a character to choose their scenario. Oh dear. I don't want to pick. Neptune heads to the Basilicum, but when she arrives at the Gold Tower, in this route, IF and Kappa join your party. Why is Nara being chased by her own nation soldiers? In this route, Uni joins your party. Keeping the hope of reunion with their sisters in her heart, Blonde heads toward Louie. In this route, Rome and Ram join your party. As Vert reaches Leanbox, the state of her own nation was... In this route, Nepgear will join your party. <laughs> of course, Vert gets Nepgear. Um, god damn, I don't know who to pick. This feels mean, having me have to pick. Man. I'm inclined to just pick Neptune, but... <sighs> Do we get to go back to the other scenario? I imagine yes, right? Hopefully. I would like to explore all of their scenarios, if possible. But I'm not sure it's possible, you know? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's 
so many good options. There's only four options, but... I think I'll just have to go for Nap, because that's my gut feeling. Is Neptune alright? Probably not, but we're going in anyway. Yo, I'm finally here. Seriously though, this tower is super gilded, and now that I'm getting a good look at it from down here, this thing is gigantic. I know, if it's this huge, I bet the view from up top is amazing. If I just shimmy up this thing, I'm sure I'll know where I am. I'm so smart. Alright, open sesame. Hey, wait just a sec. It won't open, no matter how hard I push or pull. Oh, I get it. The joke's that it was a sliding door this whole time, right? Guess not. If I transformed, I could fly all the way up, but I can't seem to do that. It might be because of the damage from that brawl with Gold Third. I'm not giving up just because I can't transform. If I can't climb from the inside, that will got to scale the outside. Tower climbing, here I go. Oh, nap. So this is the Golden Summit. As a tower enthusiast, I'd love to go in, but work comes first. It seems worth trying to climb it, though. Maybe I'll come back if I get some vacation time. God. Hmm? What is that? Someone's voice? But from where? I'm falling! Move, 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 move! Wait, from above? I said move! Why is that kid falling from the sky? Kid, I could say the same thing about you, Squirt. Who are you anyway? The names I have. I'm a gust of wind blowing through. Wait, it's Iffy! <laughs> Nap spray. Just. No. To think I reunite with you like this, Iffy. It reminds me of the first time we meet, met. If I remember, I accidentally slipped off the top floor of the true Neptral Tower and landed right in front of you. Um, who the heck are you? And how do you know my nickname? Aw, come on. Don't you think that's pretty cold even coming from you, Iffy? I didn't mean to disappear from the arena so suddenly, so I don't think it's right of you to get angry over it. What in the world are you saying? Did you hit your head when you fell? You have a concussion right now. Because if you do, I'm going to need to call an ambulance to take you to a hospital. Not cool, Iffy. Even I could get angry if you keep poking foot at me like that. <sighs> this girl's no good. Maybe it's because she hit her head so hard, but everything she's saying is complete garbage. Huh? Just a minute. You're not angry, and you're not pulling my leg? I'm not angry, and I'm not joking at all. Jeez, you're a rude person. Uh, that sounded like a serious reaction. Sounds like it is a serious reaction, weirdo. But that's a relief. We can actually hold a normal conversation. For some reason, I don't see any injuries on you either, so I'll be going. I'm in the middle of a job right now. Oh, I know. Since you're here, I'd like to ask you for help with my investigation. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? A suspicious person? Yeah, like a really suspicious old lady. Nope, I haven't seen anything. Crap, that probably means it was a hoax. Something wrong with this lady? If you're after her, Iffy, then she must have done something bad. I can't give you all the details. But she's the perpetrator of several thefts. I came here after looking into a few white witness testimonies, but I guess there were cold leads. I better head back to the Basilicum and investigate somewhere before I make a move. The Basilicum? That means you're going to Pl Neptune, right? Yeah, but well, it'd be a problem to leave a kid in a place like this. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, I'll tag along. <laughs> You should be fine here. By the way, 
there's no way you're not injured after that fall. So you need to get over to the hospital ASAP. Got it? You heading to the Basilica, Miffy? That's what I was thinking. But there's a change of plans. I'm gonna gather some info here before heading out. Oh, cool. So do you think I could? Nope. Don't need your help. Aww. This is my job. Can't let a kid like you just shout me into some dangerous situations. I'm sure you just get in the way anyhow. Hmm. <laughs> You're so stingy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Just get yourself to the hospital, alright? Okay, fine. Now then, putting aside the fact that if he doesn't know who I am... I made it to Planet Neptune, so I should figure out what the heck's going on around here. Oh yeah, now that I'm here, I should contact Noir and the others. Let's see, the number is... There! Hmm? No one's answering. Not even Nepgear. Is something wrong? I wanted to talk to them about this strange phenomenon, too. Moving on to our next news. We've received news that wanted suspect Noir, self-proclaimed CPU whose age and address remain unknown, has been apprehended. Apprehended, I can read. What? According to our sources, suspect Noir has been on the run for some time, but has now voluntarily surrendered herself. Mind going blank. Nora's been arrested. Sure, she might act self-important and is a giant tsundere who can't show her true feelings to Yuni. And she hides the fact that she cosplays and fakes her name and occupation to secretly debut as a VO and is a big grump. But there's no way someone with cute clothes and pigtails like Noir could be a criminal. This has to be a mistake. Based on the report, it looks like they didn't catch Uni though. What the heck's going on? Okay, it's just... Vert. Hello, Vert. Hello, it has been a while. <laughs> yes, not that long, I suppose. I am happy to see you are well. This is a random question, but how do you feel about the nation you grew up in? Um, let's not get into that. I'm certain you have several memories of it, but were you fond of living there? I mean... Oh, if only Bert knew what was going on in this world. But she's oblivious. I mean, I still live there, but... I think... In this... We're not... Okay, anyways, um... Oh, is that so, player? <laughs> Perhaps that was too random. My... As for me, Leanbox is the nation I rule, and I love it dearly. Yeah, good good for you. Its climate is temperate all year round, and the resort industry is booming. People from all over game industry come to Leanbox to take their vacations. We have shining white sands and beautiful oceans for miles on hand. Relaxing under an umbrella on the beach with a drink in hand is perfection. <laughs> I'm familiar with that look. You're attempting to picture me in my swimsuit, are you not? I was not, actually. But I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that do. Excuse me, I went a little off topic. It's okay. Our nation is free and abundant. Or at least, this is the image the world has showed us. The world has of us, I can read. Leanbox does hold those attributes, but we also possess a powerful military industry. Hmm. We deal in a variety of different weapons, and it's our nation's main export. 
Mm. Game industry has always had to deal with monsters, so these weapons are most often used offensively. They received high praise from around the world. They have received high praise. I can read so good. Of course, I received some of that patronage from Uni of Last Station as well. It is the perfect fodder to negotiate a date with Uni and... <coughs> oh, I misspoke. Pardon. Hmm. In any case, many of Leanbox's industries are built- are also built around event production as well. well. To give an example, we recently held a dynamic performance where fighter jets drew pictures among the clouds. Unfortunately, despite all of this, because Leanbox does not sit on the same landmass as the other nations, I'm unable to see Nepgear and the others often. Just why? Alright, I believe that concludes my brief introduction of Leanbox. However, I would be thrilled if I was able to convey even a fraction of her charm. Oh, pardon me a moment. Well, is that really the time? I apologize, but I must hurry back now. I apologize. My apologies for leaving so abruptly, but I must- I really must be going now. Good day to you. I'm sorry for butchering all of those lines, basically. My bird. But now we have new room object. Um... There isn't really a good spot for her there. Or there. Well, hmm. A couple of words as a treat. But what do you guys think of the current NEP events? It's, it feels like it's been a while since we've had a scripted loss, to be honest. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I know this stream is <laughs> way shorter than normal, but say la vie, say la vie. We got to a good stopping point and nap kind of early, and there wasn't any grinding to be done, so shrugs into infinity, and then bye bye.